In 1536 there were two gentlemen named Captain Cobbler and Robert Ask. Not many people around Burton upon Stather and Scunthorpe will be aware of Henry VIII's oppressive measures against the common people and monasteries in the 1530s. Revolutionary leaders from Caister and Louth, where a man named Nicholas Melton who worked as a shoemaker became known to the rebels as Captain Cobbler. Melton was a leader of the local rebellion. Rebels from Louth and Caister often boarded a ferry to Doncaster to attend meetings, known as Pilgrimage of Grace. These pilgrimages became larger as more people became anguished with Henry VIII's heartless acts, affecting people's grazing rights due to lands being enclosed which affected the food supply. 1,593 monastic areas were disposed of due to Henry VIII. Taxes were also increased whether it been directly or indirectly. Commissioners were sent to the area by King Henry, who bullied the vulnerable and extorted possessions from the middle classes. Those that lived near the River Trent or north of it, were classed as barbarous savages and were distant from the government. People were executed for minor offences as grudges grew larger, and people of Lincolnshire knew action must be taken. Thomas Kendall who at the time was a vicar of Louth, often was challenged by those who stood fast beside Henry. As he gave a sermon which initialized the rebellion, the church bells rung backwards, giving a sign to those that heard them that trouble was coming ahead. Captain Cobbler had support around him which helped the word spread alone the humber about the rebellion and the man Cobbler who led it, which helped build up the strength. This is where a man called Guy Kime became a key part to this story. Kime became an entrusted messenger between Cobbler's Lincolnshire Rebellion Force and Yorkshire's Rebellion Force leader Robert Ask, who had land around Richmond and connections with the village of Orton near Howden. This made his travelling from Yorkshire to Lincolnshire easier. They gathered bringing together approximately 3,000 men, they all marched to Caister. On Hambleton Hill near Market Raisin a fight commenced on the way between the king's men and rebels, where a man from Hun Castle and a servant of Lord Borough was killed. October, 1536 Ask moved south with his nephews, through Sawcliffe just south of Scunthorpe to the Great North Road, Ask also made alliances with the Axholm rebels. Due to this connection Ask found Burton upon Stather was in Yorkshire Territory not Lincolnshire. Axholm rebels helped with the communication process so Ask could try and redeem safe passage. He played political games and tried to negotiate, he had a meeting with King Henry VIII, after a year of doing so it all turned to failure. In July 1537 it was market day when Ask was hung in York off Clifford's Tower, after being dragged through the streets of York. On the way to his hanging he begged the bystanders not to pray for him. Nicholas Melton aka Captain Cobbler is lost in history from this time, no evidence is available to prove what did happen to him.